As Black History Month comes to a close, we're here at the Paul Robinson Culture Center for the closing ceremonies, an evening with poet Mahogany Brown. Let's go check it out. This heart found a home in Brooklyn in airports in a little girl's eyes in the halo of gentrification. I did not know I wanted to be an activist. Um, I think it just happened with the, uh, the themes that my writing tackled. I always wanted to be a writer. But since then, um, I realized that writing, how, how much of a tool it could be for just activating people and, and talking about issues. Our students are really concerned with the connections between arts and activism. And here at the Paul Robeson Cultural Center, we, we have a framework that we operate through. Um, and thinking about Robeson's le legacy as an artist and an activist, um, and its civil rights champion, a human rights champion, we're constantly thinking about how the arts um, reflect the times. And so from time to time, we bring in artists to showcase their work and allow our students the opportunity to engage. Playing off the university theme, this being our 250th anniversary and our revolutionary year, we're thinking about the black population specifically in the African diaspora um, and what that word has meant to us. Because the type of change that I require and want to see for my community and for my daughter's generation and generations thereafter requires a dismantling of the system that is now. So am I a revolutionary because of that? I might be. Mahogany Brown, she did, did a great job, you know, doing some of her pieces and um, really speaking about her personal journey and how she's gotten to, to this point. Black History Month, I think, especially as a student, as someone who is involved in academics, is something that I believe is like an intellectual kind of movement, an intellectual period of time, specifically for um, African American, for Black American history. Um, the great thing about having um, a Black Cultural Center on campus is that we do the work of educating our students and the larger Rutgers community about uh, the, the complexities of Black identity, Black historical contributions, Black celebrations throughout the entire year. And so it's Black History Month. The month is officially recognized, but we will continue to exist on this campus and we'll continue to have programs and, and services that are designed specifically to examine um, and celebrate celebrate black identity on this campus and so if folks are interested in getting um, involved our website is prcc.ruckers.edu and that houses all of our programs all of our activities all of the events that are happening at the cultural center and the outreach that we do from the cultural center out to the larger community well Rutgers, i hope you enjoyed black history month as much as i did until next time keep paying that town scarlet i'm dan natale rutv